show it off, show it off. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's Steve Brzezinski coming at you through the microphone. You already know what it is, and it's day 68, I think. Is it 68? I don't know. I'll check after this. So right now, Steve and Daniel and I are all going to go fishing, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Real? Oh, he probably got the bottom. Eta. Oh, look, look, look. See, <laughs> pero es nada. Eta. Eta, mi bitch. Wait, did he actually get a fish? No way. Yeah, he caught a fish. <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh. Fuck this. What did he catch? Somebody else's line. What's this? <laughs> ah, top. Oh, geez, fuck. Top him. Top him. <laughs> Tá bem, Vivete! Rafa isso, nego! Rafa isso, negão! That's a live bait, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Tranquilo. Easy, you, Steve. What's this? This great. Somebody else. É outra porção, yeah, that's, that's a rip. La linha. Vivete, na moral, vou nego. Na moral, vou nego. Oh, Vivete, the barril. Eu rei. Na moral, vou nego. He caught the hook too. Like he... So we just talked to the chairman, and he said that if this game field um, becomes into playing condition, then next week we'll be playing our game here, which means we'll be training on this grass pitch. If the playing field over there is not in good condition to play on, then we're going to continue to practice at the artificial turf field and play our game at the artificial turf field. So I wanna give you guys an update about if I'm playing tomorrow. So I talked to my coach and he thinks that it's better if I rest. I do wanna play, I wanna play like the last 20 to 10 minutes, but ultimately it comes down to the coach's decision. I let him know that I'm available if he needs me for the last 20 to 10 minutes, but I don't think he thinks um, it's worth the risk. So, hey, you know, you can't change how other people are going to make decisions. You can't change how other people feel and think. So I've got to move past it and, you know, just continue to do my rehab and, you know, work on the movements that are, you know, a little bit harder for me because of my knee right now and kind of get used to it and kind of get back into the rhythm. And so next week when we have a home game and hope, hopefully we play on this field, then I'll be able to make my debut and it's going to be really awesome if we can do that because I know for our first game we had about 250 people watch our game. Um, so if we were at our own home stadium, like the official grass stadium here, I'm sure we'll get at least 250, even more, possibly 500, who knows. Especially for the home opener at this field, at this location, there are a lot of people in the city that come and watch our game. So let's hope that I am able to play. I have the link for the live stream. It's going to be free. It's done through YouTube. It's called something called uh, something called Fan Cloud is where we do it through YouTube. I'll give I'll put the link down below if you guys want to watch that game. I'll be in the stands, so I am not playing. I repeat, I am not playing. Um, but my team is probably going to do extremely well, and so we'll see what happens. Um, there's actually an update about the game. Daniel has been struggling with a little bit of a knee problem lately just because he's been getting hacked the past two games just because he's sick as fuck. Um, and so, you know, he's kind of going day to day and we don't really know if he's going to play, but most likely he's going to play. Um, he told me he's going to go in there first 20 minutes, get like three goals, and then he'll try and get subbed out so he can rest. So yeah, we'll see. It's going to be a really interesting game. We have 16 guys um, on the final roster. There's some other injuries on the team. Um, there's some guys that just can't make the game. So yeah, the game's at Vasteros and we'll see what happens, man. Wow, it is a beautiful day today. Yo, what's up guys? I'm going to go out and do a light training session. Since I'm not playing in the game tomorrow, 
I just want to keep my legs moving, but I'm not going to do too much. I'm just going to be doing some juggling, and then I brought out some cones right here, and I'm just going to work on some dynamic movements, um, just some like bounds, laterally doing some diagonal jumps, just really working on like that knee stability, just because my body subconsciously knows that my knee just isn't 100%, and that hinders how I want to move. And I just, I know how I want to move, but my body just doesn't want to do it because it's scared. And so I just gotta keep practicing those movements so that I can feel comfortable doing them efficient, efficiently at 100% during practice and during a match. So that being said, let's get to it.
Okay, so for this last set of rehab exercises, I'm gonna be working on my passing. So there's, so there's three zones, one on the right, one on the left, and one in the middle that's made by that red and black uh, metal bar gate that's across the goal. So I got four balls for each section, and I'm just gonna be testing my accuracy, and specifically working on my technique of locking my ankle and locking my knee, just because uh, just because since I have a MCL injury, it's been tough to kind of follow through with force um, and keeping my knee stable. So this is just a good exercise to work on passing technique and also working on my stability. <laughs> As you can see, my leg really is not the strongest and it, it comes up hesitant when I'm trying to hit it. But if you guys remember from like a week or a week and a half back when I was just trying to do like a drive ball, I couldn't even hit it. Um, so it's an improvement and this is you know this was my first try. I'm just showing you guys exactly how my leg feels, how it looks. I'm not trying to show you guys perfection because about just working through and uh, trying to get better. So uh, yeah, I make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes during practice. Pros make mistakes during practice. So if you ever see like a video and someone's doing a drill perfectly, chances are it's not the first try that they're filming. Yo, what's up guys? I just got out of the sauna and doing a shower. My phone died. I was actually going to try that drill one more time. Did it on my own time and I did really, really well. Glad that I can get the technique on a somewhat consistent basis. Uh, my knee's feeling okay, it's not feeling the greatest, I'm trying to hit through that ball. But uh, yeah, I guess it's a blessing in disguise that my coach made the final decision and put me you know, uh, out of the roster for this game. So I'm really grateful for that decision. I have about five more days to really strengthen my knee and be 100% ready. I'm going to reach out to my trainer and ask him if he has any tips about kind of loosening up the quad and the knee and kind of getting that full flexibility and range of motion. I don't know if it has to do with just being patient and letting it heal for longer or if it has to do with maybe there's something that's within my control that I can do that can change the results. Other than that, I'm not going to do much else today, so I'm going to cut the video here. So, you already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, smash the like button. You know what it is. Steve Burson, signing out. Remember him or something.